This is CBS 2 News. And I'm Brad Edwards here. The story's making headlines at this hour. Today marks one year since 73-year-old Douglas Watts was shot and killed. One of two men murdered by the Rogers Park killer. He was shot in the head while walking his dog. The other victim, 24-year-old Eli Moskovitz. He was found dead less than two days later on a bike path, also shot in the head. Ballistics showed bullets from the same gun were used in both shootings. Chicago police put out surveillance video of a person of interest spotted near one of the crime scenes. One year later, he's never been found. But the gun used in both murders has been linked to two other shootings. Forget late fines at the library. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says Chicago is moving to a fine-free library system. It's not one-time forgiveness. This will be permanent. The mayor says she wants everyone to be able to use the city's resources, again, including thousands of kids. Right now... 20% of library card um, users blocked by CPL because of late fees are actually under the age of 14. Bring your books back, but come back <laughs> to the Chicago Public Library. Now let's turn to meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist. Mary Kay. Just like July, Brad, mid-80s for us today, even all the way at the lakefront, no lakefront cooling, and tonight is going to feel very summer-like, muggy and warm, 71 degrees for our low temperature with a southwesterly wind at 10 to 15. Tomorrow we'll keep that same wind flow going, but a building thunderstorm chance, especially in the late day hours and into the night, but we will still hit 85 for the high. If you're not a fan of warm weather, your day is coming. Look at these overnight lows Thursday night. Friday night, Brad, 40s at night, and a high on Friday with a lot of sun, only 59 degrees. All right, sweatshirt weather. Thank you, Mary Kay, for the latest headlines day or night. Head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Brad Edwards. Have a great day.